Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum. This is Arif. In this video, we are going to see how we can design a uh, addition subtraction combined unit using a structural model in a system Verilog as well as in a VHDL program. So this is a system Verilog design file first and in which we have defined a module and its name is add sub. It is going to be an 8 bit module and it has a S output, which is going to give us the result of our addition or subtraction. And then there is a carry out and overflow output. And then we have two inputs A and B, which are of eight bits again. And then we have a input sub as well. And once sub is going to be zero, we are going to do the addition. And once sub is going to be one, our module is going to be doing the subtraction and after that we have defined a wire xp which is also of 8 bits and after that in this code line what we are doing here is we are going to do the x or of all bits of b with this sub signal and we can do that using this logic this code line and for this thing why we do this you can read some theory but this is the way we can design a addition plus subtraction circuit and after that what we are going to do is we are going to add all these signals a x p plus sub signal and the first eight bits result is going to get stored here in s and the last bit which is going to be the ninth bit Going to give us our carry out so this s is of 8 bits and carry out is of 1 bit and that's where these are becoming 9 bits combined and after that we are going to get the overflow signal according to this logic and this logic you can understand by again reading some theory book and look here how we are using this xp signal from here what we are doing here right so in the case of adder we are going to use an b signal here and here but in the case of a adder plus subtractor we are going to use this xb signal right so this is actually right now our behavioral design and later we are going to convert this design into a structural design but first we have to understand what we are doing and after this we have this test bench and in this test bench again we are going to define a and b inputs and sub inputs as reg and after that we are going to define our outputs as wire like this and then we are going to call our this add sub module and we are going to use these signals to map our inputs and outputs like this using their positioning and in this initial block what we are doing here is we are going to set the input first of all a input to 0 b input to 4 and sub input to 0 so once sub is going to be 0 we are going to do the addition remember this and after this we are going to run this for loop and using this random function we are going to vary the input values of our a b and sub signals and once this for loop ends we are going to try another combination and here also we are going to give the sub signal as zero so that we can do the addition so now let's save and compile these two files and now let's do the simulation so that we can understand first of all what we are doing here
and we are going to see these input and output combinations so this is our sub signal it is going to be one for this period these cycles and it is zero here for addition and zero here for addition these all are going to be the subtractions and these are the carry out and overflow bits and this is our s output And now let's end this simulation and I am going to show you how we can convert this behavioral design into a structural design. So go here. And one more thing that instead of using this code line to do the XOR of all the bits of B with sub signal, what we can do is we can actually use these code lines too right and we are going to see the same results let's save this program and compile it so here we are using this generate with for loop and here we are going to vary the value of i from 0 to 7 for 8 bits and what we are doing here is actually we are going to do the x or of sub with all bits of b like this b input and then we are going to store into this xp like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 7, all 8 bit combinations like this. So, this line and these lines in the for loop are doing the same thing, right? And now, this is our right now the behavioral design. Now, I am going to convert it into a structural design. And for that thing, what we are going to do is Remember this thing that these lines, two lines are nothing but a 8 bit adder circuit with carry out and overflow bits, right? So, by defining an adder module outside of this module, we can do the structural design of these two code lines. And also, if you are going to see here this code line in this for loop. This is just like an X or so we can define an other module outside this module, which is going to be our X or module, and that we can use here. And that way we can convert this behavioral design into a structural design. So let's go outside and define some modules. So this is our module XOR and it has one output, two inputs and we are going to do XOR here, right? Just this one and here is another module adder and it is going to have these two input, these two outputs, these three outputs and these three inputs like this, A, B and carry in. And we are doing here the same thing. We are going to actually add first these three signals and put the value inside this s output and after that we are going to use this code line to calculate our carry out and we are going to use this code line to calculate our overflow so previously we were not calculating our carry output like this but we can do this by this code line as well and say with this overflow line is same which we were using previously although in our main module here we were using the xp the x or of these all bits with sub bit right so that xp is seventh or the most significant bit we were using here and here as well like this This XB7, XB7. 
right so now let's try to call these two modules inside our main module and what we are going to do is we are going to skip out these lines and we are going to include this line and here we are calling that x or one module like this you see and now we can skip out these lines and we can implement this logic using a structural approach as well so here we are calling that adder 8 which we just included in our design file and look how we are mapping the outputs and inputs here so this is the way we can implement our structural design now i am going to save this program compile this design file and let's simulate this let's run this program and we are going to see the same input and output combinations of this s output carry output and overflow output like this so let's close this simulation so this is the way actually we can implement our structural model of our adder plus subtractor unit and now i am going to flip over to our bhdl project and we are going to see how we can implement the same thing in a bhdl project so we are going to go to this design file and here we have defined an entity add sub which is going to be 8 bit module our entity and here we have this s output carry output and overflow output these two outputs we have defined as in out because we want to use these signals to calculate some other signals as well so that's why we need to declare these like this i am going to show this thing later and after that in this architecture of add sub entity what we are doing here is we are going to define another signal xb which is going to be also of 8 bits and we are going to do the x or of all bits of b with the sub bit this is the sub signal right so we are using here this thing eight times we are concatenating it like this so that we can do the x or of all bits of p8 bits with this sub signal like this right and after that what we have is we are going to add all these signals a with xb not with b and plus the sub signal so sub signal but once it is going to be zero we are going to get our addition result once it is going to be one we are going to get our subtraction result so this is just like a control signal to control the logic of this unit and this carry output we are going to calculate like this using this xb xb not b and also this overflow bit we are going to calculate using this logic and this is our complete behavioral design of our this combined unit of addition plus subtraction let's compile this file and now let's see our test bench so this is the test bench entity in the architecture of this entity we have called this component add sub like this 
and we are defining here the signals for our inputs and outputs so that we can do the mapping here we are calling here this add sub entity and we are going to use these signals to map our inputs and outputs like this using this board map and after that in this process block we are going to first of all give the inputs the values of 0 and 4 and sub is going to be 0 and after that we are going to change these values sub is going to be 1 here for subtraction and we are going to use different combinations and in the last we are going to make sub is equal to 0 because we want to do some additions in this program as well so let's simulate this program go to test bench simulate and we are going to run the simulation now so this is going to be our output on the same pattern the way we saw in the system very low program this is the sub signal for subtraction this is one for addition this is zero here zero here and these are all the results accordingly so let's close this simulation Go to our design file and I am going to show you one more way that instead of using above code line, we can use this for loop as well using generate in VHDL. So we can skip out this line and this for loop is going to do the same thing which this above line was trying to do. We are going to do the x or of sub signal with the all bits of p like this and put the values inside the all eight bits of this xp signal right which is a vector and our program is going to behave just like previously now we want to implement this code using a structural model approach what we are going to do is we are going to define an other entity which is going to be our x or entity which is going to do this function the x or of these two signals and this is our 8 bit adder logic this is going to be the sum of our adder carry out and overflow and let's try to include these two entities in our program go outside of this main entity add sub and we are going to give here two more entities this is xor it has one output two inputs and here we are doing the xor of these two inputs and saving the result inside this s output and here we are going to define an entity adder and it has these all three in outputs and these three inputs and here we are using the same code lines we are going to add these three signals put the result in s we are going to calculate carry out like this overflow bit like this and so this is our complete program of adder which we are going to use now inside this main entity so we are going to first of all include these two components in our program this is the x or one component this is going to be our adder 8 bit component and now we are going to use these two here so what we can do is we can keep out this line and include this line so this line is going to do the same thing what this line was doing 
so what we are doing here is we are calling here x or entity so this is the way we can implement the structural design approach here and also what we can do is we can skip out now these three lines we no longer are going to need these so we can include just this line so this is what our 8 bit adder adder 8 and this is the way we are going to call this adder here and we are going to map the inputs and outputs like this so this is our complete design implementation of structural model so let's save this compile this so at number 10 line what we have this one And now let's try to simulate this design. So we can see our input and output combinations like the same way we were previously seeing these things. Let's close this simulation. So this is the way actually we can design our addition plus subtraction unit using system Verilog and VHDL programs using a structural model so thank you guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this video have fun